Hello everybody, it is Pixel, and today we are going to be addressing the state of Colorado in our 50 states collaboration that I've been doing with Vault Girl for over almost two years, I'm guessing now. Yeah, end of this year will be two years, folks. And it has been an amazing food adventure for two years. And to add to that, we are going to be making Colorado chili. And for that, we're going to need pork roast, salt and pepper, olive oil, chicken broth, water, onions, garlic, tomatoes, probably saying that wrong, but I will, serrano peppers, mild green chili peppers, diced tomatoes, hot green chili peppers, cumin, oregano, cayenne pepper, and one cup of flour. All right, looks like we got everything ready. You know the drill. Let's get going. Okay, you're going to cut your roast in half and give it a generous sprinkle of our salt and pepper mixture. And then we are going to be taking each piece and putting it into our crock pot. We're going to cook that for a good hour on high and then for two hours on a lower setting. To that, we're going to add in our water. Roughly about a cup of it. And I'm going to add in our chicken broth. We're going to be cooking this for a few hours, so we are going to need to probably add a little more as it goes. But for now, we've added in four cups of our eight. All right, we're going to leave that alone for about an hour and check on it. Okay, while the pork roast is cooking up, we're going to start our garlic sautéing. And with that, we're going to add in our onions. Make sure they're all out of there. And put our serrano peppers into it. And our chilies. And give that a really good mix-up and let it simmer for probably about a good 10 minutes or so. And after that sautés up a little bit, we're going to be putting up our tomatillos in it. And our tomatoes. And once again, we'll be mixing that in thoroughly and getting ready to add our pork in soon little bit before we combine all of our pork roast and our chili section together. I'm going to sprinkle in our cumin and our chili powder. All right, we're going to be dealing with our pork in a little bit, but we're going to let this all combine together well while we do that. Okay, our pork is out of the slow cooker. We're going to be using those juices and our broth to cut it up and put it all into our vegetable mixture that started our chili. So I'll be back in a minute when that's all chopped up and show you what it looks like. Right, we have chopped up our pork. We're going to keep those juices and pour it on in here. Right, we've put our broth in and we're going to let that cook for another hour or two. All right, we have cooked our chili. It's wonderful and thick now. I did end up putting small little flurries of our flour in, and that has made it beautiful like this. And now it's time to dish up some and try it. Okay, I topped those off with a little bit of cilantro and a little bit of sour cream. Take a nice little bite of this. All right, we've tried a few bites with a little bit of our topping and a little bit alone, and this chili is awesome. It has the right amounts of spices and the right amount of everything in it. It's really chunky. That pork just melts in your mouth. I was worried it was going to be a little too hot because I even normally don't put those kinds of chilies in my soup, but oh, it's really good. You can see why this is one of the beloved foods of Colorado. All right, well, if you have any um, advice, want to make it yourself, have made it, leave me a comment, leave me a like, tell me what you think, tell me what you think I did wrong or right about it, and I will see you in the next 50 seconds video.